Well, well, uh, yes, in the north, uh, the context of Jogo do Pau died more or less in the 80s. The context, I mean, to use it on a weekly basis for real, uh, you know, confrontations. Um, that died because of politics, uh, changing of uh, lifestyles, etc., etc., etc. There are several factors for that. And therefore, uh, as, my, as, uh, as, as, uh, as Master Lino says, uh, we, we, pre we continue doing it in a right way, as we were taught, because that is the way to preserve the tradition. And we play with each other. We don't go to look for fights in the, in the, in the streets or in the market. Okay? And that is, that is the standard. Of course, uh, in those days, in the, for you to have an idea, in the, in the 80s, and in the when Avelino was, was young, so in the 60s, 70s, he, according to him and, and also according to Mr. Carlos, 90% of the men knew how to use a staff. Because, man, look, if you go to a market, to a fair, and you don't know how to use it, and every, every man are using one, well, well, better for you to stay put and don't make a mess, try to avoid any confrontation, because you will get your head cracked. Pretty soon. So you have to, to, to know because those were the times. The, the men and the staff, they, they, leave, they don't leave house without the staff. They have the staff always with them. Uh, st you still see some old people in that, in that place, I'm talking men with 80 something now, uh, going out with the staff. You still see some, don't, not too much, but before it was everybody. It was common. There were, for you to see, there. There was profession, professions built around this. The men that did the staffs were, they had a special craft and they sell it and they have business with it. They live from it. They feed their family with this. And the, the, the last man that knew how to do this in a traditional way, way died already because no one cared. Ah, just, he died. He died without telling how to do it. To, to other people. So there is a, a lack of knowledge there now. That is, that is a pity. And also, uh, Master of Lino, Master of Lino knows exactly how Jogo do Pau was taught and how it works from inside out. Um, if his knowledge is not, is not preserved and continue, well, it goes away. You can do nothing to repair his, uh, this loss. Master Oritz, for example, passed away in 2016, just uh, seven, eight months after I interviewed him. A new school started, different places in Portugal that uh, still, still try to keep it alive. But in general, I think it's fading away very slowly fading away and it's a pity because Jogo do Pau is a traditional um, uh, game from Portugal I don't know if it's a martial art I think it is but who am I to say to put that catalog in, in, the, in the Jogo do Pau but for my standards it is and I can say also that in Europe is probably the one of one of one of the arts that is still alive, old arts that is still alive, taught by people that are alive, not by books, not by books, by people that are alive. And that 
must be preserved as a treasure, okay? Because it is a treasure. It should be, if, if, uh, if things would run as, as they should, it should be preserved as, as a world heritage treasure. Nowadays, we live in a period where, the, where young people have idols like Conor McGregor, uh, Mayweather, etc. Professional fighters. And uh, they tend to look more in that direction. And uh, of course, traditional things are seen always by young people as, ah, that is for old people. But um, actually, everybody has something to gain with, with the connection with the past. It's all positive if people get to know the tradition and the art of Jogo do Pau. Jogo do Pau, if you, if you have contact with it, it will not steal you nothing. It will give you something. So I only see advantages. And uh, I think people need to be also more open uh, instead of, of uh, knowing everything before they know. People know everything before they really know. That was also my mistake. Uh, with, uh, with not going so early looking for Jogo do Pau. Because I thought, I thought it didn't exist. But it existed.